Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Another week and another piece of history has been rewritten, and it is thanks to an article on ancientorigins.net that I found out about this latest discovery. From finding more than 100 new Nazca lines in Peru, and discovering the world's oldest human cave painting, to a 12,500 year old settlement in North America, and another temple in Turkey that is thought to predate Gebekli Tepe, the end of 2019 has certainly brought forth a number of groundbreaking discoveries. But the story that hit the news this week concerns the history of one of the world's most well-known ancient sites, the ancient Maya city of Chichen Itza in Mexico. Dr. Guillermo de Anda, an underwater archaeologist and head of the Great Maya Aquifer Project, works on exploring and mapping the sacred sinkholes in the Yucatan Peninsula. And talking to the Spanish newspaper Milenio, he says that the ancient city of Chichen Itza was not founded in 525 AD, as the history books say, but was actually around 100 AD, pushing its origins back more than 400 years. Many of you will have visited the site, but for those that are not familiar with it, Chichen Itza is located in south-central Yucatan State in Mexico, around 75 miles away from the modern city of Merida. This is quite an arid part of Mexico, and so in ancient times, the main source of water was from wells, which are formed by sinkholes in the underlying limestone. This is why they were viewed as sacred. If it wasn't for two enormous sinkholes at Chichen Itza, the city would never have been built here. And this fact is commemorated in the name of the city. Chi means mouth and Chen means wells, whilst Itza is the name of the Maya tribe that settled there. So, how did the Ander come to the conclusion that the Maya city of Chichen Itza is 400 years older than previously thought? Well, he and his team have been studying the carbon remains in the Balamkank cave, which was found in the 1950s beneath the archaeological site. The results of the study, which placed the origins of Chichen Itza 400 years further into history, were based on material artefacts that were analysed to determine their age. The new date for the origins of the city were further analysed at the first Maya Aquifer Archaeological Colloquium, and the new discovery seems conclusive. In March this year, I reported on the same archaeological team discovering a trove of Maya artefacts under the city of Chichen Itza, in another cave system called the Cave of the Jaguar, or the Blamku Cave, a site just two miles away from the famous and breathtaking step pyramid of Kukulkan, which, as you all know, is located in the heart of the city. Human bone fragments were found in the cave, but no burials, and therefore they may have been related to rituals or sacrifices, and this is further backed up due to the artefacts that are found alongside them. The team of researchers is made up of not just archaeologists, but also biologists, cave divers and underwater photographers, and together they have developed new ways to 3D map and model the ancient cave systems of Mexico. Both the Blamkank and the Blamku Caves are hugely important in studying the origins of Chichen Itza, and the artefacts found in both caves are very similar, and therefore they both come from this earlier time period. When we think of Chichen Itza, we often think of its glorious architecture, but it appears that subterranean sinkholes were very much central to life in this ancient city. In fact, these sinkholes are its origins. With all the work that has been done, we now know that the Itza tribe first settled around 100 AD, and these early people laid the foundations for what would become an important and powerful civilization in South and Central American history. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.